Hi everyone, I'm Norbert. Today I'm going to mod a Sega Mega Drive 2 console. This is the latest VA4 PAL model and I'm going to apply the following mods. So I'm going to replace the LED. This is a faint red LED. I'm going to apply a bright white one like this. Then I'm going to install a 50-60 megahertz uh, region switch. So then the console will be able to play both PAL and NTSC games and also I'm going to uh, do a GL bar fix mod so GL bars are annoying uh, color bars it's very visible on the Wii A4 console I think it's the worst of all I've seen so far so there's a not very difficult mod to remove them and I'm going to start with that one as well so the GL bar fix is is happening because of the manufacturing uh, flows on the main boards they are known to most mega drive models when you are using an rgb cable they come up um, especially with blue and gray colors it can be really disturbing with rgb uh, cable uh, for that to be removed i have to uh, cut a trace um, somewhere here and then i also have to lift up a pin on the video encoder chip so I'm going to start with the video encoder chip which is the easier one and the encoder chip can be found here above the cartridge slot and this would be the one what I need is to lift up the pin 6 so pin 6 would be here 1 2 3 4 5 6 somewhere there and I'm just going to add some solder to the leg and then gently lift it up Usually, um, the descriptions online, they don't mention this, so they only mention the um, the leg underneath the 3155960 Sega chip. This one is something I experienced myself, as if you only do the, um, the one mentioned on the internet, it's either not going to disappear properly or the, the screen gets flaky, shaky. So I observed that by lifting up the pin 6, it wouldn't happen anymore so let me just add this solder three four five six perfect okay that's done okay okay so this is the video encoder chip and that's pin 6 lifted up already. It's quite simple to do. Then the next bit would be the difficult one. So that's the 315-5960 Sega chip with lots of legs underneath. Um, there's two ways to do it. Either you can lift up this pin or you can either cut the trace. I recommend cutting the trace as the it's very easy to make a damage there on the pins by lifting up another pin or shorting them. Um, what I need is to cut the trace here. So there's a f there's three components here and between the second and the third there is a trace here. So that's the one that needs to be cutted. So I just use a sharp knife to do that very gently need to make sure that I'm not cutting anything else but that trace okay it's almost there check yeah it's okay now okay that's done okay so the trace here it's now cut so 
that would be the jail bar fix. So all jail bars, all color bars now disappeared. That's very the Sega now has very nice image. After this, I just replace the LED, which is really simple. What I'm going to do is just adding some solder to the bottom of the legs, lifting them up and replacing it with the new one. So these old leg LEDs are really faint. I don't like them. Any new LED would look so much better. So what what we what we need is this is a 3 mm 5 volt LED. I like to use the diffused ones. And the way it needs to be installed is the long leg would be on the right side and the left leg would be on the left side. So I just heating these up again. I know it's not the most professional solution. You probably have a better method to do it. It works for me. It's simple. So I'm just going to do it this way, even if it's not that professional. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so that's now the LED is replaced. I got a nice bright new LED. Before I move on to the jail bar fix, I just quickly uh, add some solder to the power uh, jack port. So this usually it's a common fault that um, this becomes a cold joint. Therefore, sometimes it does, uh, when you plug it, plug the Sega power supply in, sometimes it doesn't do anything because it becomes loose. So to prevent that, I just add some additional fresh solder to the joints. This one is not faulty, but I've seen many of these have this type of fault. Very, very easy to solve. That's done already. Now it's going to be good for the next couple of years. Okay, so jail bar fix is done. LED is done. Let's move on to the region mod. Region mod is even simpler than the uh, earlier model models. This time we don't need to cut any traces. All we need to do is to remove a component. So underneath the Sega chip, the big Sega chip, there's a component called R33. R33 component needs to be removed. We need the pads underneath the component. So I'm just going to remove this quickly by adding some solder to the legs and it just it should just come off easily. Okay. If it doesn't come off, come off, I just trying to use a tool. Okay, that's done. Okay, here's the important bit. So now I have four pads here. So we need an on on switch, and I'm going to add the three wires from the on on switch to these um, pads. So the important bit is that the middle wire comes here and the top and the, the two wires on the side of the switch would come here. So the middle wire comes up there. To make it faster, I already prepared um, a switch. So this is a simple um, miniature switch and I already installed the um, a wire to it. So I'm just adding the I'm just attaching the middle one first. By the way, before I do that, I just add some additional solder to the pads just to make it easy. Okay. That's done. In the background, there is Street, Streets of Rage 3 playing on a VA4 Mega Drive. So the reason 
why well, you should be happy if you have a VA4 Mega Drive is because this one has the best audio amongst all the Mega Drive 2s and these are the latest models so they are quite rare it's very easy to recognize the model uh, VA4 because only this model in the European market only this model has the smaller mainboard so if you look at it from the bottom there should be a smaller main board so it's not covered with the metal shield there's a hole inside because the main board is already smaller in Europe there's only a, a few models released so there's VA0, VA1, VA1.8 and VA4 models exist so any other models you can read about on the internet has not released in Europe at least I never seen and never seen one so VA3 also has this smaller size but it, it it hasn't released in Europe also on the side on the on the bottom of the Mega Drive you would see made in Philippines so any Mega Drive made in Philippines Philippines are the VA4 ones so that's done now so I just installed the wires to it and this one would be here. So the mod is now completed. All I need to do is to drill a hole in the back of the Mega Drive next to the video port and then just um, attach the switch to it and that's done. So. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'm trying to make more of these. If you have any questions, just ask here on the uh, YouTube. Hope it helps. Thank you. Have a good day.